Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today we're uh, kind of taking a break here from the gifts only. We'll get back to Tower of Three, or Tower of Trials Three, um, in a minute. But today we're going to run uh, kind of in honor of gifts only. We're going to run uh, uh, some gifts here and kind of a uh, turbocharged version uh, for running with Eva and everything. So this will be a little bit different than uh, what we've been going through in the Road to 100 and stuff. But uh, it'll at least be um, a whole lot more fun uh, than, um, you know, kind of uh, what's been happening so far. Oops. And uh, because we are running the bayonet this way, we'll uh, be running Crush on ourselves. And so we'll uh, have Eva here to uh, pair up with us since this is uh, still the ephemeral refrain run and such. Uh, so we'll uh, have to uh, keep that in mind here. And. Uh, we're gonna be able to uh, basically uh, run, whoops, run through these guys uh, pretty easily because we're uh, running such heavy uh, hitting uh, gifts here and such. Okay. Okay, and blam. Even though we pushed her off the edge, that's fine. Um, definitely worth it there. Okay, and as we uh, go along here, we're gonna have to obviously get a few more uh, uh, backstabs and such to get ourselves um, up and running here. And we can't hit this guy from this distance. So we'll just have to blast him. Ouch. Okay. See, and we, we still can't hit this guy from anywhere. Okay. Range is our problem here. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> uh, definitely hilarious there with that guy. Uh, that we have such a very, 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 very short range uh, bayonet overall. And uh, we'll wait for Cleansing Light here. And then we can do more I-Core. There we go. Now we have a, a Crush Bayonet here. So that is uh, really, really bad for us, um, that uh, we are doing crush damage versus the enemy when we should be doing um, slash, but uh, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll be fine here overall, and as you can see, uh, we definitely are prepped and ready for uh, each enemy that we come up against here, except her. Oh, good job, Eva. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, these, uh, Blood Knights, if you, uh, go for some, uh, Ice Crush versus them, you're gonna do exceptionally well. Now, for the Doggos here, we definitely want to put them down, uh, fast. Oh, okay. And, uh, because we have Crush, uh, we're able to, uh, stagger these things over and over and over, which is very, very nice. Okay. And uh, it would be nice if we got uh, Gift Extension again here and such, uh, because in the meantime we've still got one more dog and uh, this lady over here, so uh, we'll uh, try and get uh, Doggo interested here. Whoops, that was the uh, change in elevation there. That was very weird. But you can see that we do have... Um, fairly good uh, recovery on i overall, so that's very, very nice. And uh, let's go for this and this. Okay, good job, Eva. Okay, and we will need a few more uh, backstab thingies, uh, if we can. And uh, she might just be good enough here for us, because we have uh, crush, crush damage overall. Okay, and Eva's gone. Okay. Well, that's really unfortunate um, overall there to lose Eva at such a uh, juncture as that, but uh, that's okay because uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. And we're dead now. <sighs> well, that was a very unfortunate turn of events there. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, let's see here. 
we probably should go for something a little quicker than this, but uh, it's it's still fun uh, to go for some of the big nukes uh, when you have the option to, uh, just because of the fact that uh, uh, you don't really get a whole lot of opportunity um, to actually uh, do these kinds of things. Oh, whoops. How is this guy still alive? Anyways, um, the nice thing about Ephemeral Refrain is that it uh, superiorly improves your uh, uh, drain rating. So anytime you get a backstab or uh, using Devourer kind of weapons and such, um, it really, really does well. Now again, our bayonet is not for um, actually doing damage. It's uh, literally just to make sure that we have uh, enough high core recovery when going against these different enemies. Okay, so as we continue on, we'll go for Eva now. Because we're right here, so why not? Okay. And that's a pretty hefty amount of damage uh, immediately there on her. So uh, let's go for uh, some Icor here. Yep, thanks Eva. Where is the other bayonet dude? Hmm, okay. Whatever. I guess he's not uh, heading over. Oh good, we got a backstab. I was doing a twitchy dance there. Uh, so, for, so through this area, you want to do um, lightning slash versus uh, these fellas if you can. And then versus the uh, blood knights. If you can go for uh, Ice Crush, that will do you uh, exceptionally well. And so that's really, really important to know. Uh, so when you encounter these different enemies, uh, you do you do uh, really well. So uh, we'll switch here to Rage of Perkunis, so you can kind of see the uh, damage difference uh, between the two here. So Lightning does very well. But uh, yeah, typically, typically through here you wanna you wanna just go for all all lightning things, um, and that kind of is uh, a tell uh, for you because of the uh, oh nice we got the uh, change in uh, elevation there um, that should tell you something about the uh, um, what is he the uh, Queen's Knight Reborn and what to go for against him so very very nice. Oh, come on. This stupid dog. Okay. And that is where the bayonet comes in handily, is uh, just uh, removing the dogs uh, because they uh, stun over and over and over. Or they stagger, rather, uh, over and over and over. So you can see uh, Ephemeral Refrain uh, doing uh, really, really good work uh, against these guys as compared to just the regular oh, uh, huge big nuke that comes out. Okay, and uh, hopefully we get gift extension here and uh, we'll get uh, uh, Ephemeral Refrain running as well here in a second. Let's go ahead and heal, I guess. Okay, and good. And then we got doggos and everybody. Okay, everybody's uh, getting excited here with all kinds of uh, damage and stuff. Okay, let's uh, head over here and chop that guy in half. Good. Well, getting a lot of lost crystals. That's kind of interesting. Good. Okay, and uh, here we, since we have this lady, we'll uh, definitely go for um, a uh, whoops, a uh, massive attack there. And uh, the nice thing is there is that uh, because we're able to uh, get back um, most of our health, right? Uh, we're able to um, we're able to do pretty well here on our on our health uh, for the moment, and we don't have to really, really, really rely on anything too uh, too ridiculous or crazy. Okay, everybody's uh, excited here, so we'll get the ladder and then we'll uh, move on from here. Okay, and here comes uh, Chunky. Okay, Eva's uh, going down hard here. 
Good. We got her before she exploded there. And let's, uh, oh, I was going to say let's get both of these guys together, but uh, that's okay. Definitely good to have a crush bayonet doing crush damage, so you're able to um, stagger the enemy over and over and over. That is uh, very, 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 very good. And the reason we don't go for Merciless Reaper is because uh, Field of Thirst does uh, stack, uh, well, what do you call it, balance damage, and so it does not uh, prep you uh, for what you have uh, running here. Oh, good job, Eva. And uh, because we get the cast off before um, the uh, before the Blood Knights uh, are in a bad situation with us, we're able to actually uh, recover a huge amount of i because we're able to recover um, the damage or the i spent for the gift, and then we recover during the enemy being in remaining in the field for like a split second while they're alive. So it's a kind of an interesting interaction for sure. Oh, this is not good. Okay, she's got her blood damage now. So we're, uh... Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, come on. Eva, please. No, don't dodge. Heal. <laughs> Oh, Eva, what were you doing? Uh, unfortunate there. Really, really. Oh, my water bottle is stuck. Okay, um, but uh, what we're able to do uh, is pretty good damage overall when we have Ephemeral Frame active. Uh, but the problem is we only have 90 seconds of it, right? Um, and so it kind of lends itself to being situational. But uh, if you can go for it, it's definitely worth it um, on some of these... Uh, uh, overcharged kind of uh, gift builds where you can really, really do some crazy things uh, uh, with your friends and with your uh, partners and everything. Yeah, get out of here, monkey. See, now he's uh, gonna recover i for us there, uh, like a boss. So that's very, very nice. And uh, we'll go ahead and get some uh, ephemeral refrain going, so we only got 90 seconds here. So we'll uh, go for a backstab, and then uh, we'll blast her down. Very nice. Okay, now hopefully we can uh, get through these uh, folks here easily enough, um, and uh, we'll go for uh, just knocking the monkey down, uh, just because monkeys are horrendous. Um, but here for now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go for this lady first. Oops. Okay. So we can do that. And then we can do that, and it works out uh, very, very nice uh, that you have enough i because of uh, Field of Thirst to do pretty much whatever you need to here. Okay, and for this lady. Okay, and because we have uh, all our things here, we're definitely going to go uh, for this lady because uh, she's exceptionally dangerous, uh, as you can see there. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's uh, super dangerous. Okay. Oh, yeah. Definitely uh, definitely takes its toll when, uh, when you get the gifts out of order, um, because uh, we weren't able to get Rage of Procunus off um, after the, or, and followed up by Jupiter's Blade at all. And so uh, because of that, we paid for it. And that's, that's the real problem when you go for Ephemeral Refrain, is you're constantly worried about, you know, how much i you have because of the huge uh, requirements on um, on your uh, gifts having all that uh, plus two. So if you uh, haven't uh, been good. really watching the Road to 100 um, yet, uh, whoops, then you will uh, remember that we're this is all about a uh, Ephemeral Refrain um, run here. And so it's uh, in our best interest to um, continue here with uh, Eva and such. Okay, we're just... Uh, okay, that was an odd interaction there, but a tungsten is very mighty nice. Okay, and so running Eva is definitely... Um, 
definitely an intriguing uh, part of the game because of what Ephemeral Refrain offers, um, and it's it's definitely worth it to try it um, because of because of what it is. So kind of neat, and because we that guy's gonna be there, we'll get all of our Icor back, and uh, we can go ahead and kill him, and then we'll wait for uh, uh, Field of Thirst here. Okay. And then we will uh, go ahead and uh, get a gift accelerator so we can do this. Okay. And uh, the beauty of um, the beauty of the uh, gifts there is very very nice. Okay. And now we are focused, so we can do oh. Oh, okay. Uh, we are playing dangerously here. Very, very dangerously. Okay, I'm dead. Okay. Die. <laughs> uh, I don't care if that took most of my health or whatever. Uh, definitely worth it for that lady to uh, get rid of her um, immediately because of how uh, devastating she is. It is fairly rare. I wish they had uh, a much easier uh, backstab potential, but uh, they don't. And we can go ahead and burst her, which is great. And that is where Rage of Percunus uh, definitely shines. Um, but now, as you see, we are completely out of I-Core, so it's uh, backstabs all the way and such. Uh, so we have to uh, do uh, worry about that now at the moment. And uh, even if we don't have uh, Ephemeral Refrain or anything running, uh, as you can see, Jupiter's Blade still does uh, fairly okay. Okay. Hey, and a backstab to boot. What are you shooting, Eva? Okay, uh, so we definitely um, played a little bit smarter there with that one, um, but uh, nothing too incredible. But as we get into the Queen's Knight Reborn here, uh, we'll kind of uh, try some of the things we were uh, running in the gifts only. Um, but uh, it won't be anything incredible because uh, we we really, really, really need to uh, figure out what we're doing here because uh, what we have is really, really good at the moment. But uh, as soon as we get into the fight with this guy and uh, we start jumping around, he starts jumping around and everything, uh, we're going to have a really, really hard time. And if he tags us once, we're dead. Uh, and it doesn't matter that we have, um, you know, a really good blood veil or anything like that. Um, it, huh? And so, uh, if we go for, yeah, I guess we can't go for anything else. So we'll just uh, keep the um, uh, alleviated here. Uh, so yeah, if we get tagged by him, uh, even though we have really good slash resistance, we have horrible blood uh, resistance. So something like the. Uh, um, Something like uh, the uh, Suicide Spur would be much better because it has uh, really good defense on blood and slash, but it has a worse uh, dark value. Uh, so we could go for something like this. Um, yeah, and we get a little bit more slash, a little bit less dark though. Uh, so we, we took a little bit of hit to our damage, which uh, uh, Jupiter's Blade and all of this should help us out with a little bit here. Um, and now we're at least normal mobility, um, and if we went for the intensified, we could grab up a pipe here, and uh, we could now be quick mobility, so that's another 20% that's 20 increase here, so 1539 um, times 1.2 is 1847 uh, dark, as effectively is kind of what we have here. Um, it, it's not exactly that, but uh, that's kind of what it is, and... Uh, here we could go for like uh, increased gift speed or something like that and that would help us uh, equally equally well so a few adjustments here uh, for this guy just because he's uh, pretty ridiculous um, and maybe if we get lucky we can go for Eva um, during uh, during the fight okay. <laughs> that's that's fun to just uh, 
slash in there for a little bit. Good job, Eva. Nice dodge. Okay, let's go for Eva while he's still in the field. Oh, didn't count. Okay. Unfortunate there. Okay, well, let's go for a, a drain here. Here's the hard part, we have to get him to stand still. Ouch. Oh, nice, Eva. Where is he? Okay. Now we have a little bit of uh, chance here with uh, our um, I Core. Where, where is everything? Okay. There we go. Okay. I guess we will heal up. There we go. Okay, we got. <laughs> she she said she's finished, and then she saved. <laughs> uh, that was interesting, but that's a, a pretty intense fight there. You're going for the blades against this boy, um, and uh, definitely having access to uh, field of thirst. Now it, it really, really, really uh, changes the dynamic of your I core recovery. Uh, when it's paired with supernatural blood and ephemeral refrain, because you need huge amounts of icor, uh, because those uh, blades now were costing seven icor a piece, so you only have three. Uh, because we did the one drain attack, we had access to three casts of the blades before they uh, drain our I icor uh, completely. Um, but uh, definitely a very nice, uh, a very nice set here of kind of items to go for. Um, and we were we didn't really need modest offerings, so we could have gone for something different here, like uh, gift prowess or blood sucking blades. Um, if you don't care about uh, keeping the partner beyond um, beyond just the first cast of ephemeral refrain, uh, but if you want to keep them around for a poss a potential second cast, uh, then it's definitely worth it to have um, a a gift partner a partner gift here uh, ready and available for you. Um, okay, so uh, provisional government outskirts we completed uh, one and done here with the Queen's Knight uh, Definitely the right choice here to go for blood slash resistance here on the suicide spur It definitely uh, proved its worth here uh, as we got hit I think we got tagged once or twice and so uh, you, you saw how much damage he did almost our entire health bar in one hit uh, Which was really really damaging because uh, supernatural blood obviously is costing us 5% uh, of our health per i -Core that we drain. So something like uh, one of the blades it, at 7 i -Core is 35% of our health uh, Im immediately gone. Uh, so to kind of put some actual numbers here to it. So 35% of our health times uh, 3097. So it costs um, 1,084 um, uh, health to cast one of the blades. But with uh, uh, Cleansing Light going, we get 75% of that back, so we get 813 back um, out of that. So we only we only lose like 270 health or so uh, per blade cast. So kind of interesting there how uh, how this interaction happens uh, when you have Cleansing Light active with it as well and everything. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll see you in the Government uh, Center proper next.